Yeah. What's up, gang? Another episode, vlog, gang, gang, talking, man. We back, man. Episode 14. Me and T Raw, man. You already know T Raw to the right, kid. Gang, gang, gang. You already know what the f going on, man. Yes, sir. We back at it with another one with y'all, man. You feel me? Tapping in with the gang. I've been consistent lately, man. I'm feeling real good. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I ain't gonna cap. You gotta be consistent. How you feeling, T? Hey, man, I'm feeling great. You feel me? Feeling great? What? I ain't gonna lie, bro. T been impressing me lately, man. He been showing up to the gym every day, staying consistent. <laughs> it's not easy, bro. I'm telling you. When you working, you get off late. Like, it takes that extra push to to get to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas be making excuses, bro. But we really live this shit, man. Probably no cap, man. No cap. Gotta push yourself, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. So I already see you about to get off to work, man. Yeah. Yeah. What you got to say to the people, though? Man, I already know my speech, man. Stay positive, stay motivated, man. You feel me? Strive for greatness, man. And whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, a lot has happened. Like, you know, even like like um, us getting back onto the, the public interviews, man. Let's talk about that a little bit, man. Let's talk about what's been going on with VG. Oh yeah, man. Keep you know, we did some public interviews over these past two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. I should say. You know, we just getting back into the flow of it. Hey, tap into the Patreon for the uncut scenes, bro. The scenes that don't make it in a fucking video, okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. George was out here, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no cap. I can't wait to show y'all some of the footage out there. It was actually lit as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another video by the vlog game, man. We back. Public interviews are back. You, me? you see a you want to go talk to her, man. What she going to say? No. And that's what we trying to show y'all. What they going to say, man? What they going to say? We say we try to smash, bro. We going to find out, dog. Damn, well, I'm trying to smash. You trying to smash? Yeah. Who's smashing? I'm talking about me and you. What? That's what I said. We trying to smash. Hey, excuse me, ladies, real quick. Y'all can stop for a second. Yeah. I actually have a question I want to ask y'all. Just do. Y'all trying to smash? Huh? Hey, excuse me. Hey, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna just tell you straight up, like, I'm trying to smash. You gotta get the out of my face. <laughs> Welcome to the crib, kid. Shot there, though, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. I ain't gonna say shot, say but it, you know, you just oh, gotta get back God, in, the, God, right. in the flow. You feel me? You just gotta get back in the flow of doing shit like that after not doing it for so long. No, I feel you on that, man. It's been a while. Down there, felt like the first time again. Mm -hmm. Type shit. Yeah. But, like, how do you feel about Ocean Drive, though? Ocean Drive! I right, see y'all. It's coming from Broward niggas who don't even stay from there. It's straight. It ain't necessarily like it was when we was going out there, but it ain't like it's completely dead, though. It's not completely dead, but it's different now. Yeah. Motherfuckers used to be walking on the street. All type of shit. Now they have cars driving through that bit. Yeah, they used to have the road blocked off. Now you can... Easily just walk through the shit. Yeah. I mean, now you can't walk through the shit. Yeah, now you got to be on the sidewalks. Yeah, man. But, I mean, you know, you got to expect things to change. And we still pulling bitches out there, so it kind of doesn't matter. What? I mean, as long as it don't start the wave. Went out there, saw some bad little things. Bad little things. You feel me? Seen some bad things on the beach. Yeah, it's always, it's always gonna be females at uh, South Beach, man. You know what I'm saying? I seen me some milfs. You know how I feel about them milfs, boy. 
<laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. You better guard your mama, bro. I don't like, you think I be liking girls my age? Hell no. <laughs> Coming with fucking headaches. <laughs> Yo, mama, though, she finna cook for me. She finna stretch me out. <laughs> she, finna, she finna make sure I'm good, nigga. You know what I'm saying? She finna give me all the love she can't give her son no more. <laughs> Now y'all know, man. Don't let your mama go to South Beach when the vlog game. Like, yeah, you feel me? <laughs> oh God, boy. Yeah, man. Now nah, your mama. I don't want no. Throw out the little twenty up. But yeah, on the other note, man, footage is going to be lit. Make sure y'all check that out. You know what I'm saying? And the bigger overall picture, what I'm trying to get y'all to think about when you look at videos like this, the bigger context is these guys are literally pulling girls and they saying some off the wall shit. That means that if we can get the girl and get some crazy reactions off some off the wall shit, why are you afraid to even go tell a girl like, hey, I like you? <laughs> what what is so hard in that yeah. like after you watch our videos you shouldn't even feel the inkling of fear to go talk to a female it's nothing like what the what? worst they can do is tell you no bro I ain't gonna count though I've been watching some public interviews bro and that shit just got me wondering like um like if a nigga say some crazy shit like uh, I can't even much get my thoughts out right now what, you trying to be on, like, some Judeon shit? Like, some troll shit? Not, like, I not, don't I don't no, really not, like trolling. Not, not trolling, like... Yeah, I like trolling, but not, like, to his level. Yeah. Like, his level of trolling is the type of shit where I just... My personality's not built like that. Oh, I can no, troll. No. I can troll. Yeah. It's just that that's not how I prefer to handle a conversation. Yeah. You feel me? Like, my natural preference... Is like, I'll mess with you for a little bit, then I'll break it off. Like, because you know me, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm playful, but I'm, I'm actually a very serious nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, I'll play around for a bit, but when, once it reaches that threshold where I'm done playing around, like, I'm like, all right, bitch. Yeah. It was a joke. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. There's the camera. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily like on some trolling shit, but I've been seeing niggas do like some crazy shit, and it just got me wondering, like... Like what? Like, damn, like, can I pull off some shit kind of like that? You feel me? Like, what you thinking about doing? Give me an example. All right, so... I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like this crazy ass prank going around <laughs> where <laughs> diggers, diggers is using a cucumber. Like they'll wear like sweatpants, put a cucumber in their pants, right? And go try to talk to a girl, right? Whole time the girls just stand at their pants and shit. Like not even too much caring what they say. The girl just like, oh yeah. Like, they on demon time and shit. You feel me? Oh, like, yeah! So, uh, not, necess not necessarily saying that we got to do exactly that. Nah, but I'm I just been saying some crazy shit. Like, nah, but I need like you remember yesterday mm -hmm. when you were like, go talk to, this, to the girl at the gas station. Yeah. So I was watching this, this one nigga. I forgot her name. But long story short, he did some shit where he was like, he seen a girl at the gas station, some shit. So he was like, he was like, is she trying to race? Like, if he went, he get her number, and then he saw stuff like that. So yeah. I'm like, All right, boom, seen her. I'm like, boom, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do a cut. That <laughs> went up to her, asked him the question. Soon as I like started talking to her, that's when her mom opened the door. She like, oh, she she young, she eighteen. I'm like, oh, yeah, too young for me, man. I just walked in the store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the girl said. You eighteen? Yeah. Nah, that's what her mom said. 
Oh, her mom told you she yeah. was? Damn. Back in, tap in, tap in. But yeah, long story short, you feel me? I'm just wondering if a nigga can say some like off the wall oh, shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then you feel me? Like recover, like recover, and then get a big number, like just by saying some shit like that. It's possible. It's just that. I don't know, man. Like, I'm not. Like, say some off the wall shit, then recover and get the number. Yeah. Like, what kind of off the wall shit? You like, doing? just how, like I said, like how he was like, he was trying to race. You feel me? That's like, off the wall? Not necessarily, but a, a female not going to expect for a nigga to say something like that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but I like mean, something she all right, all right, all right. I'll give you, I'll give y'all niggas some game. I'll give y'all niggas some game real quick. I'll be doing that off the wall shit in everyday life. Yeah. <laughs> like today, right before I, 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 when I left y'all boys, I went to Publix, right? Seen this girl with this fat ass booty standing in front of me, but she was wearing the Publix shirt. Yeah. So I just, you know, use reference, call a reference on the fact that she's wearing her shit. And I just looked at her and said, you in the line? She's like, yeah, I'm on the line. So I'm talking to Shan at the same time. And then I just turned to her. And I'm like, you know what? I'm finna sauce this bitch. Like, yeah. While I'm on the phone with Shan, you already don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah. But anyways, long story short, I'm here just talking to her about her break. Like, what did I say exactly? I'm trying to remember what I said, bro. I was like... I said some dumb shit. I said something about, oh, damn, they're going to have to reimburse you for your break or some shit. She's like, she said some shit like, yeah, I know, because she was waiting in the line or whatever, whatever. So I'm like, what I asked her? I asked her if she had social media. Yeah. She was like, no, nah, she don't got no social media. So I'm like, all right, I mean, just for being different, but you got to give me a number. Yeah. <laughs> she just laughed and gave me her number, bro. Like, you feel me? I can't remember the whole conversation. Listen, guys, I suck. I know. But I just, I, I don't, I, there's too many bitches, bro. I got too many numbers in my phone. I shit you not. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I don't even be texting them, bro. Yeah. Like, it be like that. You feel me? What? I don't care, nigga. Just be going through my phone every now and then. Like, how the fuck I got all number. these numbers in my phone, man? What? Like, <laughs> shit, be crazy. Like that. shit crazy though. But it be like that though. What? Yeah. I'm pretty sure females be like that too. Females what? worse than that, bro. Females bro, getting approached every day. Niggas. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure if you go through, you see George, Bob. <laughs> you see eleven different Bobs, twelve different Marleys. Bro, yo, like, <laughs> nigga got, she got every alphabet under the sun, bitch. Yeah. She got an Adrian. There's five Adrians in there. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody special when it comes to a bitch. Most deaf. Oh, God. That's why you got to do something that's going to make you stand out, cuz. What, cuz? Niggas just trying to get their number every day. That's why I don't, when the niggas say, oh, I got the number, or whatever. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> Especially today's age, day and age, bro. These hoes getting numbers and just playing with niggas. See? Just be texting them and be they like. They can give you her number and never text you back once you text her. A big can give you her number and literally just be playing with you. Yeah. Like you finna get the pussy and she don't even want to give it to you. You never know what agenda these bitches be on. Yeah. Well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why my code never fails. If a bitch texts me first, that's how I know she want the dick. Most of Right? Look, yesterday we was at the car rental, right? Show you this baddie. <clears throat> she got a little podcast. But she wasn't that bad. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't like her face. So I was like questioning myself. Do I really want to talk to this bitch? Like you ever know when you looked at a bitch, you don't like a certain angle about her face? Yeah. She had one of those. See, she it's her jawline, bro. It just, I don't like her jawline. She knows how to take a picture to hide it. But when she faces you directly, 
it kind of looks like you ever seen that angel fish from motherfucking angel ne- <laughs> finding nemo <laughs> angel fish i can't think of yeah, yeah. I've seen Finding Nemo, but yeah. So the oval like shape, that's her, that's her head, bro. That's yeah. her face. It's got that oval face. She right though. She. Uh, uh I kind of see what she's talking about. Yeah. <coughs> she's not ugly though. She's not ugly, but her <coughs> body was what threw me off. Right, so I was like, you know what? I might not even. I might not even like snatch. Yeah. But then she made it obvious that she wanted to snatch. Yeah. Because she, I'm sitting there minding my own business. And you remember how I was dressed yesterday. Bitch, I had a hoodie over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I have the hoodie over my face. Like a... What? Uh, I ain't gonna say that on the cast. What? <laughs> what? Dude, looking like a dumbass. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Y'all can say whatever you want. But guess what? Looking like a dumbass. I'm still pulling bitches. I'm still pulling bitches. God damn. Yeah, thanks for the random outburst. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they say I look like a dumbass, I'm still pulling bitches. So, I mean... Yeah, I guess it don't matter how you dress. It's just how you come off, Really? Bro. It ain't. It's just how you come off. It ain't off. really how you dress. Bro, I'm telling you, this whole in my face like, um, so what did you want to rain again? Yeah. I'm like, bitch, didn't you not hear the other nigga help me yeah. already? I'm like, come on, I done seen some niggas uglier than us, lamer than us. What? Pull some bad at this. And bro. all I'm doing is staying to myself, bro. <coughs> like, bro, yesterday I did not talk to that hoe whatsoever. My yeah. eyes made four just one time, and then I looked back down on my phone. Yeah. Bitch, seen I had, like, was on my phone, wasn't even paying her no mind. Then she came over, and I seen it. You know <coughs> how I know she was going to come over to me? There is one thing about science that never fails. Look at the direction of somebody's feet. It shows you where they're going to go. <laughs> Bitch's body was turned this way, but you know when her feet was, like, turned, like, they were going to walk around. So it's like she turned this way. Like, it's hard to describe it, but she was helping out some other customers, but her feet were already turned, like they were pointing to me. Yeah. You feel me? So even though she was talking to them, it's like her body was already like, it's going to turn this way. So I'm like, all right, I bet she's going to ask me some dumb shit. So she came out, asked me some dumb shit, and I was like, all right, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Blow that, whatever. So it's like, she's like, I'm going to help you get the rental and all of that. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm yeah. not going to. I'm not going to blow the opportunity. That's another, you know, another white girl in the bag. Why not? Most stuff. You know, so I'm like, fuck it. So I'm like, I go to her, I'm like, bro. I'm like, yeah, let me get your number. Um, no, I said, let me get her IG. So she tapped in with the IG. And it's always safer to go to IG, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, nowadays, females don't give out numbers. They don't give out their numbers like that. You feel me? And even if they do give out their number... You, like I said, numbers don't really yeah, mean nothing. don't mean shit. So you might as well get the IG so I can see what your body look like. You feel me? Get a whole face profile, all of that. Yeah. I need to know what's going on. And then if she fought with you, it shows how much she fought with you. Because if she got 6,000 followers and your shit come up and she reply, that means that bitch on your dick. So you might as well just get the IG. It kind of like... In a way, it kind of separates you. It it kind of shows her her temperature level for you. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So smarter that way. Uh, before I get too crazy now, what was I really trying to say? So yeah, long and short, right? We out there and we're checking out the car, and then she's like, "Y'all was smoking that gas? <laughs> Y'all, they're smoking that gas?" Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, who me? And she, he, she's like, <laughs> she's laughing. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, I didn't even tell you no joke. Yeah. <laughs> I just said, who, me? Are you talking to me? Yeah. She's laughing. She's like, yeah, I'm talking to you. Acting like you you, you guys aren't the ones out here smoking. This shit did not smell like this till y'all got out here. Uh, 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 uh. I'm like, shit, we ain't even smoking. My dog in the car asleep. 
Yeah. I'm here waiting on the rental. Like, I, then I asked her, I was like, you smoke? She's like, hell yeah, I smoke, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I was like, okay. That's Bet. all I need. Bet. <laughs> Let me get the IG. Tap in. Okay. Follow a nigga back. What? <laughs> you already know what it is. Basically, you go link up with her and be like, yo, let's smoke. Yeah. You don't got to do too much. Yeah. Just dropping some game on y'all niggas. You can literally do anything outside the box and get a bitch. No cap. Literally, I got a bitch just by talking about smoking. And what did I say earlier? Got a bitch by talking about her job. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really matter what you talk about, bro. Yeah. So what's the off-the-pocket thing you would think about saying? I don't know, man. I just be in a... I just be in the spur of the moment when I try some shit. I don't, I don't necessarily already have some shit planned that I'm going to say. I'm going to ask the girl, you want to suck on these dick? On this dick? <laughs> <laughs> With the cucumber in my pants. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna look at her and be like, "Hey, you like a challenge?" <laughs> <laughs> you like a challenge? She like, yeah. What kind of challenge? Depends. She'll probably say depends. <laughs> no, not a bit. <laughs> That's the typical response. Depends. What? I'd be like, I got a unique challenge for you. I want you to suck this dick. You think you can handle that? This nigga just gonna say some wild shit at the gate, dude. <laughs> That's gonna kill it. Man, that boy trying to be on some social experiment shit. Oh, you know it, boy. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for round two. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I didn't think I wanted to go back to no public interviews, but... After doing it the first time and getting a taste of it, I got blood in the water. I smell blood in the water now. I'm like a shark, nigga. Man, been blood in the water. <laughs> no, but I felt like I was about to retire. I felt like I was about to retire. I ain't gonna lie, kid. I felt like I was about to retire from that shit. Nah, man. Can't never give up on what the people want, cuz. I didn't know the people want them social social experiments. Yeah. Public interviews, whatever you want to call it. Hey, man. On the gang, y'all boys tap in and tell us what type of social experiments and shit y'all really want, for real. Like, if y'all want to see us do some off-the-wall shit, like, for real, bro. Right now, in the timestamp of this video, go ahead and comment below. What you want to see us do, for real, like, give us some ideas. I don't give a fuck if it's, like, two of y'all, nigga. I don't care if it's one of y'all, bro. Show some support, and we're going to support your idea if you give us an idea. Oh, yeah, most deaf. Mm-hmm. You already know we coming with it, man. Pranks, whatever. Right. Whatever y'all want to, whatever y'all suggest, we going to do it, man. Not whatever they suggest. Yeah, what uh, we gonna yeah, say we is some of y'all motherfuckers weird some, out there. Make some suggestions, and we'll pick the ones that we plan to do. Ones that won't put us in prison, <laughs> preferably. <laughs> I mean, shit, we trying to go viral, but not that way. What? No, I'm saying we want to go viral the organic way. Shout out to everybody who support the videos, man. Oh, God. Like, y'all don't know, man. Y'all really help push us even when we be feeling like giving up, man. We got y'all motherfuckers out there on our backs waiting on the content. So, we can't stop. Oh, yeah. Nah, we ain't stopping. We just going to keep getting better, man. Keep doing this shit. Keep growing. Keep trying to build our fan base. We don't call them fans, bro. We keep, yeah. feeling, we keep building our gang members. Yeah, the gang, gang mem members. Yeah, gang members. But, yeah, man.
keep on attracting positivity in your life. Whoever you are, I don't know if you need to hear this, but stay positive, fam. No matter how dark, how bleak it gets, bro, stay positive, you feel me? What? Because shit just happens, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been through a roller coaster myself lately. I could have been down, beat myself up, but I can only just move forward, you feel me? Oh, yeah, most deaf. Yeah, like, ain't no point in beating yourself up, so. Whoever needs to hear that, get up and move forward. Do it yourself, trust me. I don't, I don't like to go in detail about what I'm going through, but trust me. No matter how bad it is, you can make it through it too, bro. That's facts. Yeah. But, yeah, man. Get into some reactions. And then, um, I already know my boy Trent got to hit it to the job. He got to hit it to the plantation. What? He got to say hi to Massa. Massa. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to the plantation myself, 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the plantation calling me too, boy. Yeah, man. Massa out there with that whip. What? <laughs> <laughs> No cap, man. No cap. All right, let's get to the reaction. What we gonna watch today, man? What we gonna watch today? Hmm. I don't know, but in the meantime, what? Since we talked about the last video, they just said, um. Young Thug might get out, man. I think he, I think he um might beat the Rico case. Yeah. But um, they say his nigga snitching though. Like I said, like I said, it might be somebody snitching. So somebody they, snitching. They says it's a nigga named um Yat Gotti. He a rapper. Yat Gotti. You know who Yat Gotti is? Yat Got It. Gotti. Gotti. Yeah, I heard I the it. name. I heard the name. I guess supposedly could with snitching. Or oh, is snitching. The fuck? Who the fuck you think he is? Snitching on Thug. But we're gonna have to take care of his ass. Like I say, I also seen some shit saying that Young Thug We had to take care of his ass. Young Thug was winning or he won some shit or something. I don't know. But long story short. He might get away with it, bro. Thug for motherfucking life, nigga. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> hey, man, why sell? That's what you got to say. Why sell shit, nigga? I'm a thug, man. You got to come out and make more music, boy. My dog Gunner got to come out and make more views at dog Gunner. We need you, bro. We need you in the streets, Gunner. We need you in the streets, man. You know these bitches need you in the streets, dog. We need you in these streets, bro. Be yourself, cuz. <laughs> yeah, man. You already know we pushing P for real, so. Oh, God. Free Gunner, cuz. Free him, boy. Oh, oh. One arrested? What? What is going on here? For deadly shooting at Anderson apartment complex. These niggas look like rappers. <laughs> These niggas look like rappers, dog. Yeah. I swear. Everybody want to look like a rapper now. Searching for a shooting that happened at apartment complex. They added one suspect already in custody. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, officers said Cadrian Jamarian Boseman. Yeah, that nigga, hard <laughs> nigga for real. Has, <laughs> has, that boy named Cadrian, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> has an active <coughs> warrant for murder and first degree burglary. A second suspect, Sincere Johnson. <laughs> Sincere, <coughs> really. Is already in custody for the same charges. Officer described Boseman around 5 feet, 10 inches tall, 125 pounds. That's rapper height and weight. They added that he already has tattoos on his neck and may have connections to Spartanburg County. That boy, that boy tatted up, boy. Around 1230, 
Tuesday, May 13th, Anderson police responded to an apartment complex on Double Oak Court. Found a man at least two, two gunshots to the abdomen. Coroner identified the victim as 20-year-old Cornelius Kyrie Dennis. According to the officers, they dis consider both men to be armed and dangerous. Anyone with information is asked to contact Detective Vaughn. Yeah. Gotta contact Detective Vaughn, bro. I got this niggas, nigga out here going wild, kid. Anyways, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. No snitching, bro. I don't give a fuck. What? Nigga could have killed my family. I'm finna shoot his ass. I ain't finna call no police. <laughs> well, you wanna come after my people, nigga? I'm finna kill you and your people. I'm finna burn down the house and everything. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Niggas name Sincere out here shooting at niggas. What? Like we said before, man, y'all better go get y'all the strap. What? Niggas name Sincere and crazy. Bro, if a nigga named Sincere pulling up on me and telling me to drop everything in my pockets, I done seen it all, nigga. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Jeez, that angle is something else. What is she? Does she want to give us a leg workout or something else? Bro, these niggas is thirsty. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thirsty, too. I'm kind of curious. Hold on. They say what? They said, does she? Jeez, that angle is something else. Does she want us to see a leg workout or something else? I couldn't help but get curious myself. Hold on, why is it playing so small? Go back up, back, uh-uh, yeah, oh, whoa, oh, no, she trying to show something else, man, no, no way, that is not innocent, she got, boy, she do got strong ass legs, though, I ain't never seen nobody do no shit like no, that, no, kid, no, kid, not like that, kid, I ain't never seen nobody lift a bar with their feet, no, kid, No, I don't see it at all. I'm gonna tell my bitch she gotta go do that. <laughs> <laughs> no way, I don't see it at all, kid. What? That's crazy. I do feel like some females be at the gym though, just, just for to, attention, just to get niggas and shit. Bruh, look at look, gang, on some real shit. Look how many times we've been at the gym, minding our own business, yeah. and a bitty just come over in our section. Yeah. You think that's coincidence? And the whole time I'm looking in the mirror, I can see her in my peripheral looking at me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, bitch, stare at them veins. <laughs> that's why. <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga <here> funny. <laughs> 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 Y'all, y'all ever, hey man, <laughs> if y'all ever seen Norbit, right? Yeah. This nigga is the personal trainer from Norbit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, right there, right there, girl, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga dumb, bro. Yo. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. You gotta, you gotta get it where you live, man. You feel me? You gotta get it where you live. Oh, man. Allegedly. <laughs> What's this would say? Security foul as fuck for that exotic dancer tells one hell of a scary strip club story. Let's hear what she got to say. It's only 18 seconds long. Technical difficulties, gang. You know, technology ain't perfect, kid. The security told me, like, I'm going to holler at you at the end of the night. You told me at the end of the night, because I was new to the club, he, he knew I was a new dancer. He was like, I don't know what your get down is, but that he was in the back, in the back, in the 
grab me room for an hour with, that got full blown AIDS. And I was like, What? I'm not understanding. Like, <laughs> what, what is she talking about? I don't understand either. I was lost. She said you got full blown what? X? <laughs> X? What is that? What, what does she mean? The security told me, like, I'm going to holler at you at the end of the night. The nigga told me at the end of the night, he was because I was new to the club, he, he knew I was a new dancer. He was like, I don't know what your get down is, but that he was in the back, in the back in the lap dance room for an hour with, that got full blown AIDS. And I was just like, Oh! AIDS? Yeah, the nigga had AIDS. Oh, shoot. Sure. The nigga that she fought with had full blown AIDS. No, I guess she found. <coughs> You know, you know how strippers be giving out private dances. Yeah. I guess the nigga who she was in a back room with for an hour. Had full blown heads. Had full blown heads. Oh, she better not have fucked that nigga. Or you just told on yourself, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. <laughs> what? She a walking weapon. She a walking <laughs> weapon. Biological terrorist. <laughs> Motherfucker. <Tops. laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally a walking cesspool right there. Don't get yourself caught in them legs, boy. Ray J struggles hard to listen to a fan singing his song. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't even watch that. Nigerian woman says, auntie can't hang. Thunder cheeks moving all over. What? Sound like the auntie gonna show them up. Auntie, you know I'm looking for the mamas. Oh. <laughs> hey, damn him. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Listen. Oh my god. Yeah, you get knuckled. Yeah. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Yo, you see the answer? She body your phone. You heard me? I hope you see this video. I'm looking for you. Shoot your shot. The Don J Stu. Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. All right, this next one. Myron, fresh and fit, ran about black people who have a victim mindset. Uh, I wonder why it's so funny. Fuck that nigga. This one here says, Robbie gone wrong. Dude throws his expensive watch over a fence after feet jump out of a car and chase him for it. Oh, I would have did the same shit, nigga. You can't get my watch. What kind of watch you got? Dude. He probably got a rolly. Them niggas knew he had that. That means it's an inside job. Yeah, inside job. Inside job. I'll take that bitch. Ugh. Yeah, they probably oh. followed him with some shit. Oh yeah, pussy. Oh yeah, pussy. Now you gotta hop the fence for what? it. Pussy. <laughs> hey! They probably won't beat that. Uh, oh, they ain't beat him up. I thought they were gonna beat cuz I have a thought. Cub about to jump back over that fence for that shit real Cub quick. Cut, I need my shit, man. What? I wonder what kind of watch it was, though. It'll probably be like a. Knowing these, now, now in these times, it's probably like a Richard Millie. Yeah. Or a motherfucking Rolly. Nah, if you get a Richard Millie, you came up. Rolly, uh, it depends on. <clears throat> Depends on if that bit had diamonds or whatever the hell. 
I wanted to give our take on it. Caught him in the act. Old girl gets busted giving neck to a utility worker. Bro, they like, oh, Lord. No. Oh, my God. And look how fat this bitch is. You should be ashamed, bitch. Over here, eating up some dick. God damn. Caught in the so, act. Damn. Oh, oh girl. Oh, my behind my house getting dick in his head. Dick so. No. Say they so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> that couldn't be my mama. That could not be my mama. That. <laughs> Ain't no way. Boy, no way, boy. Right in the back. Ain't no way, boy. No way. Mama, you bet. Mm -mm. I ain't even got to worry about that with my mama. She know better than that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. Mama's need love too, cuz. Not from no utility worker, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? You can do way better than that. <laughs> fuck that. Motherfuckers do is cry, bro. That's all they do on fucking Twitter. Well, I'm really black because my parents were here in 1945 and they know Martin Luther King. Shut the fuck up. That's why foreigners come to this country and laugh with you niggas, bro. Real talk. Chinese people come to this fucking country. You know what they do? They open up a fucking Chinese food spot in the hood. The yep, Indian people, yep. they go open up a convenience store in, in the, the hood. hood. The Arabs, they come into the United States. They go put a fucking liquor store in the hood and them niggas can't even drink. They laughing at you, Beauty stupid shops. Fuck. Because you guys come into the store. Oh, hey, son, let me get a, let me get a pack of Hennessy. Uh, yo, I only got 20 on me right now, bro. I know it's 50, but yo, do a hookah, brother. No, come, come back again with the money. Come they back. laugh at you, niggas. Because you guys were born here with the opportunity and they're making a killing off you, stupid fucks. Because you guys speak English, born here, raised here, U.S. citizenship, and you're still a fucking loser. Going into a foreign nigga's store, buying the fucking alcohol, crying and complaining about why you're not where you want to be, but you're drunk all the time off of fucking Hennessy. That's the That's truth fair. in the black community. That's the fucking truth. You choose to be a fucking loser. Okay? And I don't want to hear nothing. Because if I get pulled over by the police versus you get pulled over by the police, the only difference is that I'm not going to be a fucking retard. I know how to move. I'm going to tell him, how you doing, officer? I'm going to keep my fucking hands on the steering wheel. I'm not going to call him a fucking dirty pig and sell this other stupid shit. I'm going to walk off with no ticket. Your dumb ass is going to get in trouble. Because you want to sit there arguing with the police and say, defund the police, fuck the police, fuck the police, yeah, 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 yeah. You create your reality based off of how you fucking behave, based off of how you act. He's saying some real shit. He's saying some real shit. Unfortunately, Myron is a, He's the type of guy who I find like... <clears throat> I don't know. From the first time I ever heard of these niggas, I was never interested in their shit. Like, even when I see creators who I fuck with go on their shit, I never watch it. Yeah. Like, I know DJ Academics went on it. I know... Um, <clears throat> I watch Young Don. I don't know if y'all know who Young Don is um, on YouTube, but he makes good animation stories, some funny shit. Um, bro, they interviewed a bunch of niggas, bro. Like, I can't even put my hands on it. They done interviewed Kevin Samuels, all type of shit, right? But at the end of the day, like, I've never found them as a as a creator to be entertaining because I feel like it's a bunch of fake shit, like. These niggas, they wasn't really about this before. You feel me? Like us. When we say this, like we, we bought this shit, you know that we bought this shit. It's just that we, we got to get used to putting this shit on camera. Yeah. These niggas give me the type of vibe that they was never bought this shit at all. And because money, flame, and clout done came their way, now they acting like they were experts. Yeah. You feel me? And I, I got no respect for shit like that. Like my 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 my, my spirit can pick up on that shit. Mm hmm And like I just don't like that shit. I don't rock with that shit. Yeah, I feel you. So it's not really nothing against them. Make your money, but i I feel more like people should be more honest about who they are. Or actually actually you don't have to be you can become who you want to be, 
but don't lie and say that you're there already. You feel yeah. me? You know what I'm saying? At least be honest and tell people, yo, I'm on this journey to become a better version of myself and be real about it the whole way through. <clears throat> yeah. Then to be like, oh, yeah, this is who I am. And that's not who you really are. You feel me? That's facts. <clears throat> but he did speak some facts, though. On top of that, that's, that's the only thing I'll add on to what he said, right? Like, you got to look. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, bitch. Anyways, um, only thing I would say, he spoke some facts in the sense that black people, they have opportunities up here, but it's always squandered, right? Like, I'm a Jamaican. I came up here, and I know niggas who went to high school with me who don't even have a fucking job, like... The fuck are you doing? Like, bro, I left here five years ago. Five years ago. And I still see you in your mama house, in your boxes, eating pancakes at one o'clock in the fucking afternoon. Something don't strike wrong with you, at, bro? Like, you go watch your whole homeboys turn 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and you're still in the house? Like, yeah. Bro, you got to start pulling up your shit, nigga, and start getting to it, bro. Like, a lot of niggas will wait till they 30, 40, and then look back and then blame everybody else. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, it's my mama's fault. My mama ain't do this for me when she was supposed to do it. Bitch, your mama got you in a fucking house with a fucking shelter over your head. Niggas, some niggas make more money and they didn't even <coughs> have a shelter. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm done. But yeah, like, when like you gotta you gotta make opportunities while the sun is shining, bro. You gotta take advantage of the little things that niggas don't usually have advantages of. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Niggas be be begging, hoping they have family. You know how many bitches I know who don't have family? That's why it's so easy to manipulate their. Uh, they don't got no family, nobody around them, bro. So you gotta take everything. That you got in this life and don't take nothing for fucking granted, bro. Nothing. Capitalize on everything. Because best believe you don't capitalize, another motherfucker is gonna come and do it. That's facts. Mm-hmm. Got anything to add to that, my nigga? Uh, we just gonna end it. We just gonna end it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why you ain't gonna say shit, bro? Come on, kid. I mean, all I'm going to say is, like, people, all right, how he was saying how foreigners come mm-hmm. over here and they take over shit. Yeah. I mean, they born with less opportunity. So, of course, they're going to come over here and, you feel me, take over and all that shit like that, like. Even the people who that's born over here, they might not even realize how much opportunity that they have. You feel me? Exactly. <clears throat> like, so, I don't know. I ain't going to get too deep into that. No, that's the time to get deep. <laughs> Show <laughs> niggas that you talk deep, man. You think deep, man. Yeah. All, to say, that's, yeah, all, that's all I'm going to say. Like, people, people, Americans don't realize how much opportunity they have. You feel me? So. I mean, that's true, bro. I'm Jamaican, so I can't really com- comment on the Americans. You know what I'm saying? But it's facts. Like, y'all just need to take advantage, man. Like, this is now the time more than ever for black people to get back into ownership. And I'm a fucking immigrant, and I'm here preaching that shit to any fucking black person who will listen to me. It's the time for us to get back into ownership. Create and own things because these motherfucking crackers, they don't care about you, bro. They really don't. They don't. They just want your fucking money, bro. They just want your motherfucking money. G shit. You know what I'm saying? They want your money. They want your time. And they want to lock you up when they get the chance. When they're done with you, they hope you won't get caught with a bag of weed. Enough to get your ass locked up in prison. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Hey, at the end of the day, bro, like, once they done had what they need with you, oh, on to the next nigga, you feel me? You done lived out your welcome, okay, on to the next one. Everything is a numbers game to them, you feel me? So it's time for ownership, bro. Stop letting them take control 
of everything and our resources, man. <clears throat> That's all I'm gonna say with that, man. I, I'm I'm back. We're back to the main page, you know. Um, we not gonna get in today. Nah, we ain't nah. had no time. We ain't got enough time. Anyways, you already know what the spill is. But anyways, this has been another podcast, man. Vlogging, gang talking, episode fourteen, man. You already know, man. Tap in with the next. Book.